Hi there. So today I will be talking to you about buffer strips in Minnesota agriculture. My name is Alec Markson and I'm a senior from Bird Island, Minnesota, majoring in agricultural industries and marketing at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. So in recent years, when you go to your favorite swimming spot, have you noticed more algae and seaweed than in the past? Well, in many cases, this is due in part to high levels of phosphorus runoff that enter these bodies of water from sources such as agricultural farmland. Buffer strips are an effective tool that work as natural filters between agricultural farmland and these bodies of water to stop chemical and fertilizer runoff and to prevent sediment from entering these bodies of water. Studies have suggested that in recent years, Minnesota's water quality has been declining in many of its streams, uh, rivers, and lakes. And recently, buffer strips have become a hot topic in Minnesota agriculture that have many of feelings and opinions attached to them. I personally am a third generation crop farmer from Bird Island, Minnesota, so this is a topic that hits extremely close to home for me personally. So buffer strips are an effective tool being implemented by many Minnesota farmers to help make agriculture more sustainable. They're actually being mandated now as well with the new law that Governor Mark Dayton has passed. They improve sustainability by filtering non-point source pollution before it can enter these bodies of water. They help prevent stream, ba stream bank erosion and they create natural habitats for wildlife. I'm going to provide you with information to identify how buffer strips are improving the sustainability of agriculture and how they affect you in your everyday life. The main goal of implementing buffer strips in agriculture is to eliminate non-point source pollution. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, non-point source pollution is pollution that enters the environment over a large area and it contaminates the environment. So it differs from point source pollution because point source pollution can be traced to a definite source such as a factory with a smokestack producing chemicals or a pipe that discharges wastewater into a body of water. The Agricultural Best Management Practice Handbook from Minnesota states that buffer strips eliminate 90% of sediment and 75% of the chemicals from agriculture that is used when, we, when farmers apply fertilizers and chemicals. This is extremely important because agriculture is relying more on these chemical inputs to help increase yields and meet rising food demands. And if these applications are not well timed, these chemicals can eventually end up in our lakes, rivers, and streams because of precipitation. It is very costly and difficult to try and clean up these bodies of water once they have been contaminated. So these buffer strips contain vegetation that not only filter these chemicals, but they also grow deep roots to help anchor the soil in place. So buffer strips work to prevent stream bank erosion and sediment deposit, which enhances water quality for fish and other aquatic species. This is according to the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. The Minnesota River is a prime example of a body of water that has large amounts of stream bank erosion and sediment deposit from sources like agricultural cropland construction sites, lawns, and many other sources. This sediment caused by erosion makes the water quality and does not allow the healthy natural plants to grow. This layer of sediment kills most life in the water and it destroys the fish's spawning grounds so they're not able to reproduce. As a result of the river, as a result the river has become unfit for fishing, recreation, and many of the other uses that people enjoy. Buffer strips are an effective tool for trapping the sediment and holding the stream bank in place because of their deep roots. The USDA states that planting year-round vegetation in the buffers holds the soil in place and traps agricultural sediment that is blown by wind or transported by other forms of precipitation. Buffers don't just mitigate the effects of agriculture on the environment, they have other added benefits as well. So the grassland and buffer strips are helping restore a large amount of natural prairie grass, which creates habitats for many of Minnesota's animals. According to Dr. Michael Bowman from the University of Minnesota, Governor Mark Dayton's new buffer strip law for Minnesota will convert approximately 110,000 acres of agricultural farmland into grassland for these buffer strips. I mean, as glo global food demands continue to rise, farmers are converting more land into farmland. This has taken away the habitat for many of Minnesota's native species. Buffer ships are helping restore this land and creating habitats 
or animals with dwindling populations, such as the Minnesota pheasant. So hunters and nature enthusiasts can reap the benefits of this newly restored grassland because of the increased population of wildlife. This will create lots of, lots of extra hunting land, which personally for me is a great thing because I love to hunt as well. So although there is some disagreement about the logistics of the new buffer law, both government officials and farmers tend to agree that implementing buffer strips is necessary to make agriculture more sustainable. Buffer strips are an important tool to improve the sustainability of, of agriculture as we strive to, incre to meet increased food demands while decreasing the effects on the natural environment. They have many benefits that stretch far beyond the agricultural community and impact almost all people. The ultimate goal of implementing these, these buffer strips is to help make agriculture more sustainable to preserve the environment for future generations to enjoy. Thank you.